In this tutorial, we will be looking at dividing rational expressions by rational expressions. If you don't remember how to divide a fraction by a fraction, you'll want to review that quickly first. We will also be looking at how to determine the non-permissible values in these cases. There are five steps we are going to follow for dividing rational expressions together. 1. Factor the numerator and the denominator and determine non-permissible values. 2. Flip the rational expression being divided and change to multiplication. The flipping of this expression is also known as taking the reciprocal. 3. Cancel common factors. Like with the multiplication of rational expressions, factoring and cancelling keeps the problem manageable to work with. 4. Multiply. 5. Include any non-permissible values with your answer. There are two ways you may come across division. The first is with the division symbol as seen here. This is one you should be very familiar with at this point. The second you have seen before, but it may have been a while. This is a fraction that has a fraction for the numerator and denominator. This is another way of writing that the numerator is being divided by the denominator. We can shift it over and write it with a division sign. As we move forward, you will come across division written both ways. Perform the following operation and include non-permissible values with your final expression. Step 1. Factor the numerator and denominator in each expression and determine non-permissible values. The non-permissible values come from the denominator in the first expression and the numerator and denominator in the second. This is because you can't divide by zero and we are dividing by the second expression. Step 2. Take the reciprocal of the expression you are dividing by and change the division to a multiplication. Step 3. Cancel common factors. Here, we can cancel the 3x and the x plus 2. Step 4. Multiply. We can now multiply our two simplified expressions together. Step 5. Include any non-permissible values with your answer. Now we have our final simplified expression with non-permissible values. In this lesson, you learned how to divide a rational expression by another rational expression, that there are five steps to the process and that your non-permissible values come from and carry forward from the original expression.